Yeah, guys, we're looking at Neo stock. The price is heading lower. Is it good or bad? We're going to be looking at the Neo stock chart. The market's closed currently, but let's have a look. Right guys, so market's closed. It's the 9th November 2024. Saturday. Price of Neo closed at 508. Five dollars eight cents. So let's have a look at what's going on with the Neo stock guys. Saw that this day here. Well, that's turned into pre market after the close, the 9th. As you can see. But what happened? It's on the 8th. It's the issue. Um. Yeah, we got that up. We got that up tick on the seventh when it dropped previous day on the sixth here. If you remember it dropped to four eighty four on the sixth and then the seventh it jumped up to five thirty eight, actually went higher in um market before the open of the seventh but anyway then we get to yesterday the eighth and we see it fall back a bit or you could say quite a bit fell back to five it's dipped it's dipped below at times just below five and then that's where we're up to basically. It's just above five. It closed just above five at 508. It did go as high as 520, 522. Now, is it good or bad? Well, on the one hand, it's good if you didn't get to pick up here, you know, some at five, then you've got another chance here. Um, it's good in that respect. Neo stock is it's bad that if you wanted it to go up, and it didn't. I, you know, after it came down from this, even this point here, it didn't pick up again from six, just over six. Well, obviously, when it went 770 up there, come down, and it, it thought it was going back up here, and it didn't. But, guys, the point is, with Neo stock, like a lot of stocks, they don't go up, stocks don't go up in a straight line, right? Obviously, you get times when they go up in a straight line. You know, depends what time, what chart you're looking at. 10 minute chart, half an hour chart, you know, 15 minute chart, 30 minute chart. You can get stocks that spike, spike, spike. But in general, when you're looking at the bigger picture, you don't, you know, they don't go up in a straight line look, unless even if you're looking at a day chart, unless they're complete pumps, pumps of dumps like we saw a lot in 2020, 2021, and including with the NEO stock, but, because it was a pump, let's face it guys, it was a pump, I'm not gonna say it was like a game stock type situation, i.e. pure short squeeze, but like this is the one month chart, you can see there's the even though it went up, there's right, you just get a better view if we change it to the one week chart. 
even though it went up, there's going to be times when it, you know, comes back down, like here, like here, like here. It doesn't just all go up in a straight, you know, like even here, like it came back down and then went higher. So generally, let's turn it back to the day chart. Generally, is it good or bad that this is happening? Well, it's within the range. A lot of you ask for too much. Number one, it's a Friday, right? The last trading day was a Friday. And if, you, if you've been investing or trading stocks for long enough, you should know that Friday, Fridays generally, you know, they can, stocks can go down on Fridays. Money's taken out of the market on Fridays because over the weekend something can happen, political, you know, or some event, global event that can affect stocks. Not necessarily individual stocks per se, like NEO, but NEO's part of a fund, you know, stocks that are part of a fund, they, you know, if something happened in the world, then that fund can crash on the open or pre-market, you know, Monday before it opens. So obviously it's going to affect the individual stock prices. So that's one reason why people, traders, you know, investors, traders, hedge funds, they remove positions, you know, say like halfway through Friday depends that's one reason another reason is like coming up to Christmas a lot of people have got money in the stocks they might not have cash a lot of cash and they might need money and they might not get paid like if they've got a job or they've got a business they're waiting for funds Funds could be tied up even in a job. They could, uh, uh, and funds could already be, you know, spent. And then in a business, you know, funds could be tied up. They could need the money for other things. But generally, like, you know, people need money. They need, so they sell stock to get the money before Christmas because Christmas generally is a time, you know, time of year where families, you know, people spend a lot of money buying gifts for others, etc. Plus you got the holidays, you know, people go away, they travel, they need money or if they, even if they don't travel, they you know, have to buy extra food and this and that. It's, it's, it's just a costly, it's a costly time of year. So they, Obviously, spend a lot more money. They, they, even if they're not taking money out of the stock market, the fact is that they don't put money in before Christmas. A lot of people don't put money in stocks before Christmas, so it's kind of saps, saps, you know, the power of the stock market, especially individual stocks like Neo, which is not like a dividend paying stock. So. You know, more money is going to go into sort of dividend paying stocks. Um, so, is it good or bad? Neo stock has gone down. Well, it's good in one sense, like if you wanted to pick up more at $5, it's bad. Within the bad, it's there's a good and bad, you know. There's always pros and cons. It's not a disaster. I mean, it's still trading within a range. And when it come down here, this is where it ends. You could say the spike come down, it ends, ended like, you could say ended here. So it's traded. You know, it's 
traded for three, four, five days within this range of by 40, say 540 to five, and then obviously it dipped below five. But it was an extraordinary event. 484. And obviously, like you're going to get news here and there, you know, that when it dipped 484, it was on about the tariffs. Trump won the election. So tariffs come up, the news of tariffs, and then talking about it dipped here again, the last trading day yesterday, the 8th. For. Chinese, you know, stimulus. Um, these kind of news, like, they're going to come and go. They, even if the stock was higher, even if Neo stock right now was $10, that news is going to come out. News of Trump was going to come out. All kinds of news is going to come out. So if Neo was now $10, it would probably fall to $8, whatever. So wherever the stock price is of NEO you're always going to get pros and cons like good news bad news uncertainty news etc etc so it, it's playing within the range the stock right let's put it this way if there was some good news that came good news that came out about NEO it's easy to see how the stock could fly I mean, it went 770 from just under four dollars and more or less doubled so if some good news came at five dollars you can see it doubling again to ten dollars that's what i really see moving forward if i pan out and look at the bigger picture course while people like traders investors in neo while they get worried and sell and maybe buy other stocks or whatever it happens all the time that takes some power out of the out of neo but they will come back when the good news comes they can't resist they come back so at the moment, you could see this as a, another move here, up and down. Couldn't quite get there, so it came down here. Uh, you could even see this as a second move here. But as it made a lower low, the first one made a low. Second one's not a lower low, so that's a good sign. On the whole, it's moving sideways at the moment. Obviously, around about that five five twenty mark. But if you take it from here, five thirty four, roughly five thirty four to five oh four, you could say that's the range. It's basically thirty cents in it. And that's a good sign, it's moving forward. It's not too volatile on the downside. There's more uptick. You see it diagonal here, uptick. And then obviously coming down here, but it's, 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 it's pushing towards, you know, this 540. It's pushing towards this 540. You don't really see it going below five much saw it here and here obviously in here and here but there's more it's more bullish you know within this range if you look from even if you want to take it from five five dollars it's more bullish it's more 540 it's pushing up so on the whole obviously <clears throat> you're going to get factors that as I've said, you're going to get factors that cause stocks and stocks like Neo, you know, to to kind of, you know, trade sideways, trade a bit erratic, a bit static. 
sometimes fall 20, 30, 40 cents below the general sideways trend. That obviously is going to scare people. Um, but the journey, the Neo journey is, uh, you know, it's young. It's, it's only just begun, really. As I said, like, um, one or a previous video, like if you I said, like, you know, if you forget this big spike to $66, if you kind of ignore it, ignore it happened, then obviously, like, because a lot of stocks did spike up like that in 2020, 2021. If you ignore it and then you just look at the you know the price where it was where it started where it went down to etc you can see that it's still the journey's only just begun that's what you can say you know that's what you can sort of conclude so the real kind of spike up has not really happened yet this was just a move here, but obviously, like the sales increase with Neo, you're going to see these, you know, the Neo price is going to be making higher highs gradually. Don't expect miracles in, you know, one day, one week, one month. Don't expect miracles. You know, news is always changing. Policies are always changing. So long as Neo keep on the plan, keep expanding and keep designing, you know, better, better models and technology and keep pushing forward, then they will gain more customers right gain more sales take away sales from the competition that's the game that's the name of the game right that's the name of the game taking competition taking sales away from the competition right and then suddenly sales you know will increase so much that when they you know, when they bring out a PR to do with sales, etc. That's when we see the stock jump big. I'm talking big. Right? That's when we start to see over $15, $20 and pushing up, pushing up, pushing up. Everyone's jumping on board then. So obviously it's patience. Patience and holding. Uh, obviously, like other people jumping on board, buying more, and a uh, little bit of short squeeze. And it should press up higher and higher over time. I think 2025, Neo stock, that's pivotal. 2025, although it's still, still young, still fresh feel fresh company moving forward i think 2025 in my opinion it's not financial advice i think i'll say in this video is financial advice but in my opinion just my opinion i think 2025 is the key it's the key uh, year that we see um if we forget that 66 dollars as i said we discount that I think 2025 is going to be, you know, we're going to see, the, in my opinion, we're going to see a much, much higher price for Neo stock. It's just my opinion. I think 2025, obviously, like in 26, 27, moving forward, it's a different kettle of fish. You're going to see Neo, in my opinion, go to the moon. But, start of it proper 
it's going to be 2025. I don't think, and I might be wrong, I might be wrong, but I don't think that we'll see a huge spike in 2024 before the end of 2024. At best, at best, I think if we do see a spike, I would say that Neo stock price might reach just under ten dollars if it spiked up now before the end of twenty twenty four, which really is only like six trading weeks got the odd day here holiday blah blah burn and it's slow might even be five trading weeks if you think some trading days are going to be really dead so really there's only five trading weeks if you work it out you know because people coming up to the holiday they obviously everything slows down so you got to say five that's only 25 guys it's only 25 trading days if you forget some up the other trading days and then what what can happen not a lot in 25 trading days obviously that there can be a spike up but if there is or several spikes i doubt very much it would go higher than ten dollars but i'm still hoping it could reach uh, around about eight 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 and a half before the end of 2024 I'm still hoping that it will or that it could but really I'm looking forward to 2025 and um, seeing how high it could reach I guess I would say we could be looking at 25 30 dollars 2025 if not 30 dollars Certainly, I would, I would, um, it's a high probability it could be floating around $20 in 2025. If it weren't going to push up high, high, and it was going to do that in 26, 2026, I would say in 25, there's a high probability it could be going sideways at $20, guys.